we will go into a massive depression, dude. I actually think we're probably going to go into depression with Trump. And I would rather have the depression with Trump hmm. than the depression with these idiots. Th these people are not only criminal, dude, they're idiots, okay? That, that, this is the real problem. They're not even very smart. Um, they're just narcissistic psychopaths. I've known two people like this in my life. And let me tell you something, dude. They are, they are staggeringly difficult to manage because they will go to links that make no sense to you and I. In his recent interview, Card One Ventures CEO Gary Cardone mentions that he would rather face a depression under Trump's leadership than under the current leaders, whom he describes as criminals and idiots. He finds it challenging to deal with power-hungry individuals who will go to extreme lengths to stay in control. Gary emphasizes that this kind of behavior is not new and has been present throughout history. Give this video a like to show your support and subscribe for your daily dose of crypto news. We hope you enjoy. Before we continue with the rest of the video, do check out daily 5-minute crypto newsletter with all the latest crypto and Bitcoin news. It's a fantastic analysis of on-chain crypto data and breakdowns, and the best part is it's absolutely free. They'll cover expert predictions, breakdowns of on-chain crypto data, and any breaking news you need to know, all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description and enter your email to join over 50,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. We have stopped asking for the same sh we expect from Wall Street, we have stopped asking for that from our politicians. Like, why wouldn't we have a quarterly report? President, Treasury Department comes on every quarter, every nine days, speaks to the world. Dude, this is what I would be doing. Hey, we're having a quarterly meeting on our country. Dude. Our country's GDP is moving. We are doing this, this, and this. We're bringing all these jobs back, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you start making every state report their earnings, who's positive, who's negative, who's got debt. Uh, if I'm Trump, dude, I, I, like I place people in every government, dude. I go, hey, Gary Cardone's the auditor for Texas now, dude. The governor has to meet with this guy. He's oversight for the government. Of I don't know why we can't do this stuff. It, and if a governor is not willing for an auditor to come in and look at what they're doing, woo -woo, problem. Like, like, wow, yeah, big red flag. We, we require public companies to do this all the time. Why aren't we requiring the state of California to show what the f they're doing with all the money that they don't have? They're spending it poorly. Um, look, it's just about markets and transparency, though. We're not independent. Politics is not independent. It does not look like markets. It, it, if I was a business and, and we were doing this as politics, I, I would literally never have an opportunity. They would have just pushed me out. Oh, you can't play. Right. So to me, this is a really good analogy to use. Why is politics so different than the way we look at our markets and free commerce and free everything, freedom of speech, freedom of freedom to compete. Right. And openly. And, and this is no longer the Democrats, the Republicans, the whole game that's being played is not. Uh, uh, open, transparent, and consistent with a free marketplace. Furthermore, what do we see just like now? This morning, we wake up to the biggest cyber attack. You can say it's not an attack. It effectuates the same problems, though, right? We're starting to look like a third world nation, dude, at every level, right? Bridges are falling down. The ships that uh, navigate the, the rivers, seem to all be losing their computer systems. What do you want to bet there's been at least 15 cyber attacks this year on boats, and that's why they're running into bridges, and no one's telling us the truth. Uh, we've irritated every country on the planet, dude. Half of them are our allies. By the way, I'm still waiting for those four names from the Euro. See, 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 the audience should be looking at this going, wow, I don't know the four names of the people that run the European Union, dude. Like, that is staggering to me. Guess what they are? Our biggest ally. Okay? Yeah. Europe, Europe is the size of America, dude. Oh, by the way, the UK has riots in three cities right now. Leeds is burning, dude. Okay? People are pissed off. I don't think this is just a U.S. thing, dude. People are pissed off around the planet.
so so my prediction is and it's quite interesting to me that bitcoins bitcoin and, and bitcoin didn't get impacted by any of this cyber isn't bitcoin that great isn't that a bullish sign or seven okay it's up three thousand dollars uh the entire market got hammered and bitcoin was like all crypto bitcoin was like what outage well who's microsoft <laughs> well what out we'll show you what an outage looks like this is bitcoin going up three grand and and funny enough price goes up this much nobody really talks about it price goes down three grand everybody freaks out if you think this is all coincidental uh i've got a bridge to sell you uh, i got a bridge to sell you in nevada man um because it, 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 like, I don't believe in coincidences. The CIA doesn't believe in coincidences. The NSA doesn't believe in them. The U.S. military doesn't believe in coincidences. This is no coincidence. And my prediction yeah. is we will have another incident. Biden will be dead or retire, uh, walk away from this within, well, he probably won't be dead. Look, he has no decision in this, in my opinion. Uh, it's not like he's making the decision. They're probably all freaking out. Who wants to take this job, dude? Like Gavin Newsom's going to get slaughtered in front of Trump. Kamala Harris will get slaughtered by Vance, not uh, much less Trump. Gary argues that we should hold politicians to the same standards as Wall Street. He suggests that the president and the Treasury Department should provide quarterly reports on the country's economic status similar to how public companies report their earnings. This would include updates on GDP, job creation, and state finances. He believes that each state should also report its financial status, with transparency on debts and spending. Gary predicts more incidents and challenges ahead, speculating that President Biden might step down or be replaced. He believes that any new leaders will face significant difficulties, particularly against opponents like Trump. Now, let's continue Gary Cardone's interview. Well, I think at this point, it's pretty embarrassing. Like they're losing their credibility, right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you can only push this agenda so long, dude. Like, like the Zuckerberg thing's a big deal. So good for him. Uh, he's not my favorite guy in the world. I've been very critical of him. But Mark, I want to just say, well done on stating the obvious and being honest about. Wow, that was impressive. I do think that's the kind of champions that we need in the next ten years to write this country. Otherwise. We are going to be flushed down the toilet, be non-competitive, less innovative, less jobs. We will go into a massive depression. Dude. I actually think we're probably going to go into depression with Trump. And I would rather have the depression with Trump hmm. than the depression with these idiots. Th these people are not only criminal, dude, they're idiots. OK, that, that this is the real problem. They're not even very smart. Um. They're just narcissistic psychopaths. I've known two people like this in my life. And let me tell you something, dude. They are, they are staggeringly difficult to manage because they will go to links that make no sense to you and I. Like it, it, you and I are sitting there going, well, it would make no sense to drop a nuke. Who would ever say that? That would be smart, right? Nobody, dude. There are people that go, there is nothing I'm not willing to do to stay in control. Right? Control of, like, all we have to do is go back in history. Right? Like, pick an era, man. Yeah. 16. I think that's the right mindset. How many people have been? Totally. Dude. You have to just be honest with this. This has been going on for centuries with people who are in power. They're sick, okay? Once you get this much power, you get really psychotic. And, and even to want this kind of power, dude. Like, you've wanted me to go to politics since you've known me. I'm like, nah, dude. It's, it's, it's uh, what's the word for? It's uh, like you're walking into a disease. Like, like, it would be hard not to get sick. I just think this is, like, we have evil people running the office. And I yeah. think we've had evil people. I'm going to say something that may get me banned here. I think we've had evil people running the office since I was a little boy, seven years old, if not before, dude. And, and that 
That to me is what needs to happen. I have never improved my life condition if I didn't do my inventory and share with people what I did wrong. If I'm going down the wrong road, at some point I have to go, you know, I made a mistake here. I went down the wrong road. I picked that girl or I went into business with that guy and I cut a couple of corners and, you know, I was just trying to do an expedite. Uh, you ask, you ask um, Elon Musk what his biggest mistake was. He would tell you every time, oh, I got, I got involved with the wrong guy. Hmm. Way back, way back on Tesla. Hey, I got involved. His first Tesla partner, he said, dude, that guy really cost me a lot of money and time and energy. And he admits that he was trying to solve something. And that's what uh, his own internal problem. And that's why he picked that guy. So until you admit these mistakes, I don't think you fix them. Gary Cardone expresses his views on leadership and the future of the country. He starts by acknowledging Mark's honesty, even though he's not Mark's biggest fan. Gary notes that the country needs more leaders who are honest and straightforward if it is to avoid serious issues like job losses and economic depression over the next decade. To make progress, Gary stresses the importance of admitting mistakes. He presents Elon Musk's admission of a poor choice in a business partner for Tesla as an example. Gary believes that acknowledging and learning from mistakes is crucial for personal and national improvement. In your opinion, what roles should cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin play in the future of global finance and economics? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and continue the discussion. If you found value in this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions on cryptocurrency and finance. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you again. For more Daily Dose Crypto News, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.